Oh, I'm Hans-Jochim Schellner, I'm uh, director of the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. I also happen to be chief climate advisor to the German government. So I think this approach as presented by Global Youth Manning and Alan Lausen is a very interesting one. It is in a sense a sort of addressing a second or third best world, not the first best world where we know where the global agreement legally binding would be the best solution. But since we do not have it yet, hopefully we'll get it sometime in the future, I think it's very important to be pragmatic and to get started. And Europe could actually form the core of an innovation alliance or as I sometimes call it a fitness club for innovation and carbon reduction. And you said that time is of essence. Can you yeah. elaborate? Since I'm a physicist and I'm a climate scientist, we certainly have to bend the global emission curve called peaking of emissions by 2020, that is nine years to go. This is extremely important. This is extremely important and I think we have to use just about any initiative we can get. Uh, so before creating the ideal solution, which will come hopefully in, a, in some point in time, we simply have to get started. And I really love the Scandinavian way of being pragmatic here and to be inclusive because what will be started through this initiative will welcome others to join in. In the end, I think, we will have to win over one of the big emerging economies, like India or China. The, the, the title of your presentation was We need to get up our, our easy chairs. Uh, you... yeah, I, I was referring to this strange situation we have now, that the warning signs regarding the global climate situation are are getting nearer and nearer. The writings on the wall are so clear. I mean, 2010 was the warmest year on record, as well as the wettest year on record. So it's precisely what the scientists tell you. But nevertheless, the public just tries to look away and hear away and just take no notice. So we, it seems we are sinking back into our easy chairs and hope that the future problems will be solved by themselves somehow. So it's important to bring back the message that yes, there is a big problem ahead of us, but at the same time encourage people that they can do something about it. Eh? And that's where Global Utmaning, I think, is on the right way.